Welcome to another video on data to decisions. In one of the recent videos, we created a column chart where you can have a target line for the columns and it was a single target which was applicable for all the columns. Um, and then in that case, in that example, there was a single target value of 22 for all the departments. In this video, we're going to take it up to another level by saying, what if the targets are different for each departments? How can we represent them on the chart as we see uh, in front of us, we have the columns representing the actual measure, and then the targets are represented as lines um, for each department, and they are different for each department. We can do this very quickly, very easily in Microsoft Excel, so let's get started. So I'll open up a new sheet, and then we'll take the data. I'm just going to copy the values. Paste it in here as values. So there we go. So we have the data. Now let's start building the chart. So what I'm going to do is to create first. Um, I like to put this into a table. So select everything, put it into a table. And this step is optional um, for this exercise. In general, when your data expands, the chart that we build will also automatically expand. That's the benefit of putting the data into a table. Um, but let's get started with building our um, so I'm going to select all of this and then go insert column chart. So by default, it'll put it into two different columns. So we have the measure and the target. So let's move the legend to the top. And um, I think I'll just move the chart up like this. Um, and then we can change the titles, formatting and everything. But let's focus on how do we get the targets, different targets um, for each department. So I'm going to right click on this yellow series, which is the target, select change series chart type, and it'll allow us to now select what type of series or what type of chart should we apply for the target. So I'm going to select the line with markers and press OK. So now it creates a line with markers, but we don't want a line. The line doesn't make any sense in the case of targets. We don't want to necessarily uh, there's no trend involved here, so there's no, so we don't want the line. So I can right click format data series and Excel allows us, as soon as I right click again, format data series, uh, Excel allows us to, if you go to the fill in line, you can remove the line by pressing no line. So now you are left with only the circles. You can go to the marker and then uh, fill the marker with whatever color. So I'm going to use the blue. And then we can change the marker in front of the automatic one. I'm going to select the one that looks like a line, and then I'm going to make it larger. And now that puts the, the horizontal bar or a line uh, for each of the departments. I don't need any border. And I can change the color of the columns. I need a series, fill, solid fill, and then give a lighter blue. So there we go. So we have a measure and then we have a target. Um, and then I like to make sure that the grid lines are not very prominent. So I'm going to change that to a lighter color. So there we have it. Then I want to add data labels. So the data labels, I'm going to now click on plus and I'm going to click on data labels. And now this adds the labels here. Uh, I'm going to click on those labels and actually change the position. You can change the position here. Label options, go go here to the label options. And then I'm going to choose the inside end. So it appears here. And then I'm going to add the data labels for the target. So you can click on it, right click it, uh, and then do data labels. So it will add the data labels there. So by this way, you will have the data labels for the targets as well as for your uh, measures or the actuals. Um, you can click on the chart. And then you can fill it with a different color if you want to blend it into a dashboard page that you already have. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to do the border and then make it rounded. So it looks like this. Um, of course, chart title, make sure you write a correct, appropriate informational titles. And then the axis label, axis titles like x axis and the y axis, make sure you inform the user what the measure is. Uh, if it's number of employees, just write number of employees so that the chart is very clear what it's representing. The main focus of this video was how do you create uh, a chart with the targets which are different for each column? We have accomplished that. You can do a lot more formatting according to 
your needs um, to make the targets look differently uh, from the actual values. There are many other ways to uh, visualize this. So we'll be doing more videos on this uh, in future in our channel. If you have any suggestions, uh, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching.